Now I know people can get lost, but rivers? I know if you don't write down a map, but it's soon to be found, right? Beer, 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 beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, for another Ruski Brewski review. And today the beer I have for you is the final one out of the four that my godbrother and his wife got me. It is the Bellwoods Brewery Lost River Baltic Porter coming in at 8% alcohol by volume and an unlisted IBUs both on the actual bottle and on the website. But <clears throat> out of the four, this one has an IBUs listed on untapped coming in at 22 IBUs, so very, very low on the bitterness rating. But then again, it is a porter and porters usually aren't bitter at all. So without further ado, let's crack it open. But before we do that, I always forget this. I always forget to show the label nowadays. Looks to be a back, black, blah, 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 blah. black background with a silhouette of a river, some trees, and a person coming up through the O of Lost. Very nice, very spooky looking uh, design. So here we're going to crack it. Throw the bottle cap to the side. I'm going to be pouring it into my Great Lakes pot can style glass. Being that it is at 8%, definitely more of a slow sipping beer. I'm not going to pour too, too much. Maybe just about that much to get a little bit ahead on that pour. Actually, I bargained for a lot more head on that pour. Looking at it, pretty pretty dark. I wouldn't say it's super black. I would say it's, a very, it's sort of a lighter, almost maybe a super, super deep brown bordering black. But that head on there is a nice deep light brown color very nice looks like a chocolate milk sort of bubbles going through it but let's see how it smells I smell a lot of like 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 a milky lactose tons of milk chocolate a little bit of alcohol in there as well smells oh, smells like a Deep, like a deep chocolate milk almost. Maybe a slight touch of uh, espresso in there. Maybe just some like black coffee notes. It smells phenomenal. Remove this box actually. Here's, like, here's a box. Here's what you can get when you buy a four pack. You put them in this. Kind of awesome. I'm going to put that there. So I can move my microphone a bit closer. Turn down that little bit. And now we're going to be ready to drink. That is good. That's chocolatey. A little bit of coffee in there. Maybe some dark fruits like plum. Maybe uh, even some like dark raisins or something like that coming in through. But, oh wow, definitely chocolate forward. Nice coffee background and maybe some other uh, fruits going on as well. Phenomenal, phenomenal beer. Let's keep drinking, shall we? Cheers, everybody. Ooh. It's like a chocolate truffle. You know, it's very intense, very bold flavors. This is a lot of big, bold flavors. You can smell the alcohol, like I said, just very slightly. But in the, in the sip, you don't get any. You get just a nice porter style of beer. Heavier on the chocolate side, but a nice dark chocolate. And what I wouldn't, I would call, I wouldn't call it black. I would call it more of like an espresso sort of flavor that sort of coats everything and just lingers on after uh, after you swallow. Very nice beer indeed. I haven't had a porter or a stout in a while. Really happy I did it. I'm definitely feeling more of the lighter beer, lighter colored beers at the moment, but it's always good to get back to a nice stout or porter. In this case, a Baltic porter. Let's see what the can what the bottle has to say for itself. Bellwoods doesn't really have much to say. They have a nice logo usually. Lost River, Baltic Porter, 8% alcohol by volume, 500 ml bottle. There you go. Brew and bottle in Toronto, 124 Ossington Ave. That's all you got. No description, no IBUs, no brewed on date, none of that. No ingredients, nothing. Just the logo, the name, the alcohol, that's it. You have all this real estate. I've been saying it for the past reviews. Use it. Use it to your advantage because 
if you if you're not you in my opinion you're just wasting money on a bottle just put it in a box like a tetra box but that's just me being me i would always use the uh the whole bottle or the can or at least all the space i could to put information uh that you know is needed if if i had my own brewery which hopefully one day i do but this beer is rich it's flavorful velvety smooth definitely a thicker beer a little sticky but sits really nice in the stomach some porters and stouts can see it really heavy this one's very very tolerable moving over to the website now bellwoodsbrewery.com when you get here you do have a description of the beer and it says baltic porter or lost river baltic porter chocolatey roasty and rich in everything it does this beer packs tons of flavor without being cloying or overpowering Enjoy this well-balanced brew all year round, regardless of whether you're freezing in your uninsulated apartment or running for <laughs> or running from the patio police. Blaze your own trail. Solid, solid description. Yeah, I could I definitely I'm not a big stout or porter drinker in the in the summertime. But hell, if you're into that thing. This is definitely when you can do it because it's big bold flavor but it doesn't shoot out with that super warming alcohol presence that some of them get that that some stouts and porters get that is really really nice that is actually perfect for the cold months still tremendous beer eight percent alcohol by volume and when you come down a little further it says what it smells and tastes like very dark strong predecessor to the stout creamy and chocolatey with roasted malts and a hint of dark fruit very nice indeed. Other than that, no other information. No IBUs, no uh, malts, hops, or yeast listed, no food pairings lacking on the website. But still, it's look. It's a nice looking website. Just Bellwoods, you need more information. Come on, you can do it. <clears throat> Finally, moving over to one tap now. Lost River has been given a 3.96 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of 1,700 ratings. So still very good base for the uh, average rating scale. It's nice. It's wonderful. Definitely would need some chocolates with this, and I do have chocolates. Ooh, could we do our first taste pairing with this beer let's do it let's do it why not shall we and we got the perfect chocolates to do so guinness it's a celebratory dark chocolate truffle with rich roasted malt notes by purdy's chocolate i'm gonna do it now i got these for my parents for easter oh, oh, whoops the easter bunny got me these it's a nice little chocolate Guinness inspired. Mmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, this may be a chocolate overload because this is very rich. Very rich indeed, but now let's have a sip of the beer. Mmm. Not too overpowering. Not too overpowering at all. Mmm. That's a good chocolate. That's a good food pairing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on. I'm having troubles now. There we go. Mmm. Chocolate's really rich too. This is not a chocolate review. This is a beer review. So, with that first Ruski food pairing done, let's finish up this beer and get ready to ratings. Cheers in the final set. Absolutely phenomenal. I'd probably pair this more with like a vanilla ice cream or something like that. Just so it's, it, um, that chocolate is very bold and rich and super, super sweet and also very dark and roasty. 
it's a lot. It's a lot to handle. It's like a scent chocolate sensory overload in your mouth between this beer and that chocolate. So I think this Baltic Porter with a nice vanilla ice cream, maybe some chocolate drizzle on top just to give that add a little bit of flavor would definitely be a great pairing. It's definitely more of a uh, dessert beer in my opinion. With all that said, we got to get rate to rating. So for the Lost River, I think I have found the number in my head. I gotta give this beer a solid 9 out of 10. Wonderful, just perfect, you know, it's it's a solid porter. Definitely a bit more higher up there in alcohol content. I usually, I'm pretty sure porters, most of the time, are a bit more toned down versus like a stout or something like that, but 8% sits beautifully. No alcohol burn, which is really nice, but a ton of flavor, great chocolate, nice coffee undertones, and also that very slight dark fruit undertones as well. 9 out of 10. Presentation wise, Bellwoods, you do a really nice logo. I love your logos. They're awesome. But the information is lacking, especially on the can on the bottle. There's nothing there. Just the alcohol. And I think I'm pretty sure that's mandatory. So add some more stuff to here. Website, still ABVs, but it's nice that you put a little description and a tasting note. But you still got room on here. You got a whole white section. You can put IBUs. That takes what? four or five sp character spaces, maybe the malts and hops, maybe food pairings, you got the room, you can do it. But with that said, presentation of the bottle, I gotta give you only a, I gotta give you a six. It's a really cool logo. And the website, you know, has that other bit of information, but it's still, you're lacking. You're lacking in your presentation. And I know you guys can do better than that. Come on guys, you can do it. I know you can. Faith is here. With all that said, before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, beers you want me to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like the video or subscribe to me, May Peruski, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. As for my question of the day, are you a stout or a porter person? I know they're very similar styles, very, very close in nature, but there is a difference. Me personally, I'm a big fan of stouts over porters. I think they just have that extra bit of kick kind of thing, extra bit of flavor that porters don't usually have. Porters, to me, are definitely a bit lighter mouthfeel in uh, in regards to the whole stout versus porter game. And uh, I like me a thicker mouthfeel when it comes to uh, when it comes to beer. Don't take that in the wrong, wrong, wrong way. God damn it. <laughs> but yeah, no, stouts all the way. Porters, I still got love for you. I still drink you, but uh, stouts is definitely my go-to very dark beer. And that's going to do it for me, Mick Bruski. And like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers.